Está lá o bairro todo a ver a nós. A broken motorcycle in the middle of the favela. Yeah. <laughs> Good day, peoples. They have a decathlon in Brazil, and I've been wanting to go for a while now, testing out mats. This one, it's not very comfortable, but it's tiny. I started out with this one. This was the style of my first mat, and I like these self-inflatable ones because they're very compact. I already know how this is. This is pretty good. I've gone through three, four mats in the last years of travel. But I want something compact again. So this is the one I was looking for actually. And uh, this is pretty good in my book. This is what the first one was like. But what do I spot for a little bit more? Look at this. That's the yellow one I was lying on. Okay. Fingers looks like a winner to me. I even put this in a tank bag. So I've also been eyeing this tent, the ultralight. And I had the old version of this one, which I bought 2014, which I have had for almost six no, years. Nice. Use it so much that two of the zippers on the tank are gone. I can't close my tent, the outside flap and the inside one. That's no good for temperature control. And Patagonia, the wind that we're gonna have when we're camping is gonna be crazy. This is a great aerodynamic tent with a price. I'm pretty light too. All right, I'm gonna bring one anyway. Let's go. One step closer to Patagonia. Man, it's like uh, 2014 again when I started out in preparation. The Decathlon in Amsterdam, all excited for that first ride. And uh, we're going to take the tuna eating to the next level since I've lost my uh, compact cutlery. Spork, compact, ultra light. Well, Red, I will get one of these headlights too because I haven't had one of these for a while. In the dark, they're great. I was like, what the hell's going on? Oh. What the hell's going on with this bus here? But uh, looks like he's getting dragged. Flat tire. Man, that can be good. Rest in peace, sweet rim. in between an American sandwich. It's all American made. Wrap it up. So these are the bags, uh, the soft panners that I got from Braz, the same guys that made uh, the top case. And as you can see, they're a little bit small. They're almost like a, like a purse, purse size. Uh, but they were the only ones with a waterproof cover, which is attached into here, which is really nice. The rest is uh, nylon. Pretty basic, should be water resistant, but this makes it waterproof when I want it. And I also had them give me a couple of these so I can make a sturdy bottom so things don't perforate the bottom right away. But here's the other thing. Uh, a few months ago, someone offered me a uh, brand new, barely used uh, Moscomoto, uh, what is it, uh, the Trekker 80 bags. But to get them here is a bit complicated. I know how to do it, but it takes time. Uh, we'll have it sent to Paraguay if I decide to go forward with it. And then I was thinking I could have them sent to Paraguay while I'm back on the way up from uh, down south Argentina, Patagonia. Meanwhile, I'll use these. They should last me until then. Let's have a look to here. They're a lot more floppy. They have no, uh, no sturdiness. There's a better word for that. No way that I'll be carrying a, a sleeping bag or a tent in these because it'll just fill up with one item. It'll go in the top case, but you know, spare parts, tools. 
You ready to go back to the beach, Fabrizio? Quite ready. I would come with you to the beach right now if I uh, if I could. It's really hot in Porto Alegre, uh, but I'm gonna stick around uh, in Porto Alegre for a few more days. Uh, prep, help, get some other things uh, done here, and still waiting for uh, motorcycle documents for help. Fabrizio is going back to the ocean. Lucky dude. We say here Porto Alegre, the happy oven. It's time to cry goodbyes, but of course we got it. We gotta film it. Uh, he knows all about that life too because he's also doing a YouTube channel uh, here in Brazil of his uh, motorcycle travels. It's uh, a motorismo. I'll, I'll leave a link down in the description and uh, go check him out. Meu! Obrigado, pa. Então, um abraço pra você. Muito obrigado. E te cuida lá quando atravessar lá pra baixo, não é fácil. We'll take it easy. Tu também. Cuida lá. Vamos lá. Diz olá. Olá! A mãezinha, a Bruna, Mwah. at the doggos. Well, I hope I have everything because Fabrizio is going to be 250 kilometers away. Tá. Tchau, pá! Boa viagem! So, while he heads up into the sun, we are staying here in Porto Alegre because a friend of his they have an Airbnb, a couple of rooms, and they offered uh, a few free nights for me to stay there while I stayed in Porto Alegre still, so that's cool. Olá, boa tarde. Tudo bom? Então onde é que pode ficar a moto? Tá. Home sweet home for now, help. Oh. oh. Delivery for Mr. Moda. Look at this churrasco, and it's another one here in Gaucho land. Fabrício não sabe FIA, eu acho. Fabrício, ó, que tá inchando, tá inchando, Fabrício, olha. Just to clear things up, he's basically talking uh, smack about Fabrício's churrasco skills. It seems to be a thing out here. I've been in Hungary and I, they have once, and there was a battle of the wines. You know who makes the wines? And here in the Rio Grande do Sul, people are very serious about their churrasco, their barbecue. Someone contacted me on Facebook. Uh, today or yesterday evening and he said I got a sprocket for a Trans Alp 650 if you want it rear sprocket I was gonna leave today, but it's like that's actually pretty sweet. Oh Look at that There's Francisco Oh Francisco What's up? Tudo bom? Everything okay. good? Are you Portuguese? English? You speak it's English too? Portuguese English Oh, that's lucky. That <laughs> saves me uh, writing uh, subtitles if yes. necessary. That's <laughs> Let me get a piece of rubber. Yep, because I got a very sharp broken yeah. foot. That's the problem shelf. Has been here for how long? A couple of years. A couple of years. The, I have a motorcycle part for a motorcycle that we don't have here in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> so, it might fit. Let's have a I look. Thanks, man. I believe so. Look at uh, what Francisco grinded up there in the attic. Little foot. A few of you out there will be happy now that I'm going to have a nice wider foot that hopefully won't sink as much anymore into the ground. So uh, we got a bit of a situation and that is the chain is too short for the big sprocket. You know, when the mechanics did the work, when my chain fell off, I asked them to uh, cut the chain uh, to uh, 118 links, but I think they made it the same length as the shortened chain, uh, chain that was put on. 
so it's too short so we're going to try and fix that we can only roll the bike in neutral jiha it's about two and a half kilometers don't push the clutch no. Francisco is being a good, very good sport. Woo! Bora lá! Bora! He has an awesome DRZ. Here we go, special move! We're in the favela now. Oh, it's ready, ready. Huh? 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 This is a proper favela, homie. Oi, cuidado, 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 que eu não posso parar. Vou comprar. Oi. Que caminhada, que aventura! É, de jirico, né, meu? Pra você é. mesmo. Tá lá, broken, tá lá o bairro todo a ver a nós. A broken motorcycle in the middle of the favela. Yeah. <laughs> that was so sketch, that bit. Everybody's like looking, everybody's doing nothing. They have all they have all the time in the world. But then the other guy he was helpful, you know. Probably he was like, dudes, get out of here. No, that's okay. No, you have to say, yeah, it's the most dangerous place in oh, Brazil. Oh, I'm sorry, we need some views, you know, we have to yeah. create content. That was a heck of a dangerous situation. It was heaps yes. dangerous, mate. Yeah. So we couldn't find any used links, so uh, we rode to uh, Francisco's house and he sorted me out. One of the better 525 chains, 118 links, we'll just chuck them on there, be over with. And everything will be good as new, actually. It will be pretty sweet. <laughs> and the chain is on there. Brand new chain. And a brand new 48 teeth sprocket. One tooth more than usual. So we hopefully we got a little pinky more of torque. I'm curious if I'll uh, really notice it. Obrigado, gente. Thank you very much, Pa. Tudo de bom. Tudo bom. Que dia, Francisco. Yeah, what a day, yeah? A, hard, a lot of hard work. A lot of hard work. <laughs> Not much luck, a lot of Slow hard work. Slow payoff. We'll get there. Ó, oh, gente, obrigado. Boa obrigado. E bom negócio, pá. Tchau. Oh. <laughs> nice bike, eh? baby yeah boy we got the old L power back feels good man ah oh, that's I missed that 
What? I missed the power for so yeah. long because it had like 43 teeth. Uh -huh. So it had no torque. Now it's going. She's back. She's never been a mob, but. Felt the mouth fire of the DRZ. Huh? She felt the power. Yeah, I saw it. That's an awesome bike. This pulls it's away, man. 110 kilos. 110 kilos. Can't okay, believe it. That's this is 205, yes. more or less. It's like double. Yeah. Whoa, look at this, mate. Look at that proper foot. It's a side stand, all right. Bloody nice. Look at that. Black on black doesn't hit the swing arm. That's gracias to uh, Francisco here, man. You're welcome. He's uh, a custom made job. Custom made job, better than Honda. And yeah. it started with that. It started with this. This is what the side stand was before. Is there something Brazilians can't do? That's what I keep keep asking myself. Elf got a little foot, Elf got a tight, nice chain. Tried to keep up with the DRZ, but... Uh, the mighty power of the DRZ. She feels ready to go. What do you got, Chuck? Keep riding. By the way, he has a channel too. I'll link in the description. You can check it out. And he says everything in Brasilia though, but, but check it out. You've seen how they ride around here, so if you want to see more of that. All of madness. He does, yeah. You know, you know how it is once you put sumo tires on one of those uh, sumo style then. Very strange thing happens. Yeah. Check it out.